Good morning. Actually, good noon. Get ready with me to get my new car today. I went to Mazda, and Mazda was a car I wanted because one of my friends have it. It's really nice design, but honestly, Mazda was so underwhelming. Literally, like feeling so claustrophobic and cramped. Yeah, I began to look for other cars. Toyota is not in question because they have a one-year-long waitlist. Went looking for the i30, and then a Kona caught my eye. It didn't look the best in terms of like how the front looked. It's very like circular, but I like my cars to be more sharp. That's why I wanted the i30. And that car, it's a small SUV with so much space and the interior was so nice. Like Hyundai gave me like the apple of car vibes. Ended up test driving both the i30 and the Kona, one after the other. And that was when I realized, damn, I see why people like SUVs now. It's so stable and big. <laughs> Hello, I wanted to hop in here and talk about why I chose the Kona. So there were three main factors. The first one was the tech. So in terms of tech, kind of like some cool features that they have, Apple Play, lights, sound, um, just like things like that. And the other one would be for safety. So safety like sensors on either sides of the mirrors, um, front and back. And the second was aesthetics. So I guess it goes hand in hand with like tech. If there's a lot of tech, it would probably be more modern and aesthetic. I like the fact that there were leather seats because if it's cloth, you know, like things get stuck, it's harder to clean. And I'm probably gonna end up with this car for like 20 years because we had a Corolla for like 18 years. It would have kept going if there, it didn't get into an accident. I like that it had like a light interior, which I don't know, gives like bougie vibes. And the last criteria is that it had to be spacious. I want everyone who sits in the car to be very comfortable. And you don't really get that with a lot of cars, um, especially with a small SUV. I didn't have too much specification for the engine, motor, things like that, just because I'm not going to be driving the car that much. So yeah, let's get back to it. My outfit of the day. It's supposed to be sunny today. I don't know what happened. It's cloudy, so, you know. Gotta be prepared. On the way to the car dealership now! Finally! I'm kind of scared because I don't actually know what the car would look like. I ordered a dark blue one and they didn't have any dark blue colors on display. That's wow. 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 wow! Why should not be yours? I'm just signing up to the Hyundai app. My car. Have a look. The parts are crossed out because you didn't have any training vehicle, which you didn't set on our car. Mm -hmm. So that's just the invert the car. To pick up the car, you saw on here. Hey, you look like a salesperson here. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I should be sitting on that side of the desk. Digital version <laughs> to our physical keys. Oh. The reason saying physical keys is if you're running out of battery. Yeah. For whatever reason. You can use the physical key, pop the open the it only goes straight, right? You keep holding it until it's sort of... Yeah, that's a light grey actually. Ooh. Can you see can you see that seats moving? Yeah. So every time you open the door and you when you when you shut the door once you get it out, once yeah. you open the door, the seats will move back out. Ooh. Give you more clearance when you come in. Yeah. Oh my god, I love the interior. So what do you nice. think of the smell? I love the smell. <laughs> I love the new car smell. We're not gonna start out the car, so we're just going to the ignition mode. So once we got in the ignition mode, take the phone out if you don't mind. And then go to the blue link. Now you're using the app. So this is all the so Register, I will register you as an average chance of this. You can start up the car, obviously you go lock or close the door as well. And also there's quite a bit of a control you can see in there. Lock, start the engine, unlock, stop the engine, lights, hold. So these two bits just in case that you couldn't find your car in the car park. Oh. So you can just touch it, eh, 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 or whatever it is so that they want to come here. And you can change the uh, climb control when you're not in the car. Let's say you park the car on the side of the street, very hot there. It's got to be steam hot when you open the door. 
Yeah. So you can, before you do that, start the engine, the door still remain locked. You can turn the air con on, cool the whole car down. Oh, that's okay? nice. And you can sit, sit sitting as well. You can cool the seats before yeah. you walk in the car. Your games. Okay, so I want to walk in the car. Uh, use a hand, you press it yourself. Sorry, this button right there, yeah. press and hold. Let go. Are you going to start floating? Am I? <laughs> oh, is it, wait, is it going to put you into sleep mode? Oh, oh, oh. I feel like I'm in business class on a plane. Oh, let's go. Oh. Does it do more? Does it keep going? doing that, relax yourself, have a nap or not. You can turn on the cooler seats, heat the seats. <laughs> I'm kind of depressed going back into the 2016 Toyota. <laughs> <laughs> Don't crash it. Okay, what do you think? It's way cooler and better than I expected. I don't have much time to admire my car right now because we're going for a birthday dinner. I want to make Essex for fun. Yeah, so we'll do a car, car tour <laughs> next time. <laughs> I see the lights. Hello, Benjamin. Hey, when you're driving, you have to drive very safe. Okay? <laughs> I don't want you to crash. I had a, I had somehow had an image just in my mind where I'm driving and you get into a crash and I come over and you're like dead in the car. What the 